Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing the questions which were given to you as homework after the completion of lecture number 1. Now, let us look at all these questions one after another. Question number one was a multiple choice question in which it was asked food and few options were given to us. Option A gives us energy. Option B helps us to grow. Option C repairs body parts. Option D all of these. Yes, you all figured it out correctly that food is important because it gives us energy, helps us to grow and repairs all body parts. Therefore, option D, that is all of these is the correct answer. Question number 2. Which of these is a micronutrient? Option A, proteins. Option B, carbohydrates. Option C, vitamins. Option D. Fats. Yes, you all got it right. Micronutrients are those nutrients which are required in very small quantities by our body. Out of the four options which are given to us, proteins, carbohydrates and fats are macronutrient. Hence, the leftover options that is, option number C, vitamins is the correct answer as it is a micronutrient. Question number 3. List the ingredients that are required to make tea. We all know ingredients are the substances that are required to make any particular dish. Here the food item is tea. We are aware that to prepare tea we require water, milk, sugar and tea leaves. Question number 4. The human system which is involved in the digestion of food is we all are aware that digestive system is responsible for the digestion and absorption of the food in our body. So here the correct answer is digestive system. Question number 5. Why do we have variety of food items? To answer this question, let us look around you. We all know that different people eat different types of food and the main reason for such a variety of food items are the habits, lifestyle, taste, availability and the nutrients that are present in the food items.